Hey there, welcome back to my channel. You're at the Thrifty Journal Shop. My name is Amber. If you're new here, welcome. Today I'm gonna do a flip through of two of my journals I've been working this in. This is my fabric house and I am just in love with this journal. It's just so much fun to work in and it's squishy. And uh, I'm working on putting together a little series of making your own little fabric house. So yeah, so I'm working on that. I hope to get those videos out like this summer. And I've got some other ideas. So I made this using a paper bag. I've got a couple videos uh, where I talked about this journal. I'll link them down below. But the base is a paper bag. And then what I did here was I just used a bunch of different fabric scraps. I used some sticks from outside. Here's a branch off a pussy willow tree added some silk leaf flowers, there's a deer, I made a window, used some children's book pages, and then this is the back. So yeah, so it's been really fun to work in. Um, and I've just been taking it along with me. I've been pet sitting, house sitting for a bit, and so I just take it with me. I take like just uh, my bag of junk supplies, and I just kind of create with what I have. And, you know, that's kind of freeing and nice because then you're not overwhelmed. And, uh, yeah, so I've been enjoying it. So I think I left off around here. I didn't do much with this page yet. I uh, recently got some new colored pencils. So I, I'm probably going to color this in here. But here I just did a fun page. I actually did some journaling. I've been trying to journal more a little bit lately. But um, I, I love watching my birds in the morning or just throughout the day. So this is just an image of a bird. Here's some cutouts from a calendar, an old calendar I had. Here's a deer I drew. And this is just from um, a children's book with some poems. And it's one big rain. We've been having lots of rain lately for the spring. And things are starting to bud and so I just did some um, journaling here just some more um, cutouts from a calendar this is from a sweet little book about dogs and I just really love the picture it looks like he's smiling the basset hounds looking at him so I just added some of my stickers here that I made then right here there's just really sweet saying animals are very spiritual creatures and I had done a flip through of my spirit animal journal and so that got me thinking so I was pulling out different stuff and kind of in remembrance of animals so I did some journaling here and then here's just a page with just some more cut out from a calendar and here's part of that poem book I was talking about with the bird and um, just some decoupage of a little chickadee that I did I love my little chickadees and just some more on um, playing around with my stickers and just cutting out, um, you know, for magazines. This is what art is all about. I just made a sun out of some of my acrylic paper. There's Cookie Monster. You love cookies. I added that. And I had showed this. I had added the count. And this is a Kleenex box. And then I just put in a journaling card and did some journaling. Here's just one of my acrylic pages and I had, um, this is just using some book pages magazine. Here's a wolf, I love wolves. And this was just um, from a, a magazine that I had, Wildlife of the North. I added some fabric scraps and here's an owl that I drew. This was a fun page. I just, um, I had this sewing magazine and it had all these numbers and so I just started cutting out the numbers and putting them down. I've got a bunch of stickers with numbers so I need I'm going to go through and fill it back up because I don't really ever use the number stickers too much so I thought it just looks pretty with my acrylic background. I just thought this page was really pretty and fun. This is my acrylic paper. Here's a picture of a falcon. This was out of um, another children's book and it says falcon a symbol of loyalty and perseverance I just um, I just love that and then um, one of my rainbow stickers and just a heart 
So just nice and easy journaling, just using um, book pages, magazines, whatever I have on hand. I've got um, another uh, fashion magazine. It was from the 80s. It just reminded me of a sweater that I had. So I cut that out and glued her on and just added one of my stickers. And this was something out of another magazine, Pop Rocks. And then here... Um, from another children's book and this isn't actually a raven but it's close enough I think this is a blackbird and you know I love all birds and all animals but I will say the blackbirds when they come around they have a tendency to take over my bird feeder and they scare all my little birds away so sometimes I have to pull my feeders in for a little bit so they'll go away <laughs> so I've got two crows that come out and um, they're huge and they get underneath my feeder. Um, I actually like watching them, but this is the raven. So raven, symbol of protection against dark entities. Animals and people do not fear each other. Rather, we all live with mutual respect for one another. All the spirits of animals, people, and nature exist in harmony on the other side. This is just using scraps. So then I was just curious, because I know I've looked this up before, the difference between a crow and a raven. And um, it's ravens, I guess, are noticeably bigger than crows. And they've got a, um, a greater wingspan. So I just did some journaling about what ravens represent and crows. I just, I've always really loved birds. And um, they're just so much fun to watch. And then here's just another cutout from this 80s magazine. And then I just cut out some words. Um, I had a page about art. Study the art around you and try your hand at making your own. Collage, pictures that tell a story, watercolor. Art is just not pictures, acrylic painting art. Really easy journaling, just fun. So I think that's as far as I got. And then... Um, I did do, oh, here's a page I did a while back, um, when I was pet sitting and I was pet sitting over by Lake Michigan and I had a really nice time with, um, the dog and had a big golden retriever and every morning, um, we would walk down by the water. I stayed there twice. I stayed there for a week and in that week in February, it was really warm. We had some warm days and then I stayed in March and it actually rained a lot. So here's just um, one of my umbrellas and the lighthouses. There's lighthouses down there. Just I cut this out. It reminded me of the house I was staying at. Um, I guess this is me on the beach maybe. Um, little town looking forward. I was drinking tea. So it was just a really nice um, week and then um, another weekend that a long weekend I stayed. I just really enjoyed it. And I brought this along and worked a lot in this journal. And I think that's it for this one. So that is my fabric um, house journal. And then I just wanted to show you some page ideas. Uh, so these are just pictures that I had taken that I have in a box, which we probably all have photos in a box that are just sitting there. And what I did was I just went and I sewed um, them on pieces of fabric. And then I'm going to add them um, to the, some journals. Here's my mom. Um, here's me. <laughs> so this is just a great way to um, do something different with a page. I know I've showed these before. Um, I've had I put these pages in my um, journals. These are like fabric. I call them fabric pages, fabric scrap pages. I turned some security envelopes into them. I'm actually working on putting together some kits in my Etsy shop, and I'm going to have one of these in there. So what I did was I just used a glue stick and glued it down, and then I went over with my sewing machine. If you didn't have a sewing machine, you could just use some tacky glue or... Even a glue stick, it would probably stick pretty well. A hot glue gun, it might seep through, but that would be a great idea too. So yeah, these are just nice to add. They have texture. You can just glue it onto um, your journal page and then just add photos um, to it. So I'll show you 
I did a spread with one of these and I'll show it to you. But this is just another idea of how you can use fabric and photos. Um, and you don't have to have a sewing machine. Uh, you could just glue these on and then stick them in your journal. Good way to use up um, fabric scraps and just to incorporate photos into um, your journals. Yeah. So I just thought I would share that. So then here's my other journal that I've been working in, and this is um, my large glue book. And I've done a few videos on this before, and I'll link them down below. And I've really enjoyed working in this, um, this book too. So I think last time we got to here, and then I haven't done much in this, but um, I wanted to show you, this is one of those fabric pages so I just then glued it in here. And what I did here was I had the stained glass book that I got um, at a thrift store. And I loved all these images that they had. And here's a wolf. Now there's my crow or raven that I was looking for. Um, and so I just glued those on here. Here's just some stamping and collage. Um, just using some stickers. Very random. Some little cutouts. Um, warm, warm September brings the fruit. August brings the sheaves of corn. Then the harvest home is born. Just um, random stuff here. Um, deep in the woods by the Sandy River bank, a little deer asked, do you love me, mama? And that was from that book that I've had quite a few pages in here from. Um, I love you, little one. This is um, an image from that book. Such a sweet book. So yeah, so this is a great way to use um, scraps of fabric, make fabric scrap pages, and then you have something to glue down and then you could put photos. Just an idea. And I do have another spread here. So um, my boyfriend and I went to Virginia and West Virginia for a few days to um, ride our bikes and just kind of get out of Michigan for a little bit. And um, so this was just using, I brought my journal, so it was just using anything that I had and then I just used some like brochures that were, um, you know, at the uh, visitor center just or in, in where we stayed, they were just free. And so I just um, cut out some different pictures. Here's West Virginia in the background, Virginia. Um, and then I had this bear and here's the Yogi Bear cake and here's a bike and find places with wide open spaces. We were staying in Rockingham County, Virginia for a little bit, some blueberries, and we stayed and they had um, farm fresh eggs, which I love. So uh, I kept the stickers off the eggs and here was a tag off of, um, let's zoom in a little bit. This was a really cool tag off of something that we bought at a bike shop and I just loved those dogs. So I added that. We stayed in a little cabin, more tea bags. So just, um, just using supplies that I have on hand. I love doing that. Um, it doesn't have to be fancy. Just to kind of um, journal about what you're doing in that day or just to kind of give a vibe of what you had done. Um, so yeah, just simple, easy journaling. And then this was just um, some more West Virginia stuff. So I might do another page. I just stuffed some stuff in here. So that's all that I have for that. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. It gave you some inspiration if you are um, looking to uh, work in a journal, a glue book, an art journal to create your own. Uh, leave a comment down below um, what you're working on or something you'd like to see. I always love to read comments. I appreciate you guys' feedback. Like I said, I'm working on putting together um, some video ideas of making maybe something like this, a scrappy fabric house. Um, I would love to do that. I also, um, I got some colored pencils and they're just Crayola colored pencils. And I actually got them um, when we were uh, in Virginia. And because mine were just like, some of them were like this short and I've had them forever. And so I'm gonna turn this, um, little box into a journal and uh, I might do that. I'm thinking I'm going to video that process and maybe show you how um, I do my like soft, uh, flexible spine. So yeah, so I'm going to recycle that, make it into a journal. 
So I just wanted to get on here and do a flip through um, in honor of hashtag flip through Friday. Although you don't have to do the flip through on a Friday. It's just a um, collab or um, a hashtag that was brought on by Christina and her YouTube channel is Christina Shack. She's got a really cool channel, does a lot of really cool things um, in her art journal. I, I get a lot of inspiration from her. So uh, go check out her channel. I'll leave all the details down below. I hope this inspires you friends to just get out your journal and create, express yourself. Um, I know for me, it's just really nice to just sit down and um, be creative and not think it through too much. It's very therapeutic for me. I hope it is for you too. I hope you get outside today and enjoy some weather, some sunshine. And once again, I always hope that you find some time for yourself today to create. I'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching.